Nerf Nation, what's going on? I'm Bleed the Nerfer, and this is the Nerf Hurt Locker, part one. Warning, warning. This is a cringe alert. get you just halfway because you look big and welcome to the nerf hurt locker where i have an unhealthy obsession with lightsabers and just don't know what to do when one gets in my hands uh -uh. but anyway guys we're going to be taking a look at the tiny bit of nerf arsenal that i have here in the basement of my building as you can see i've already found the marauder sword so hopefully nothing too cringe takes place here <laughs> In other news, I'm fat now and think I'm a whole lot funnier than I actually am. Here you see me taking down the main tub of blasters. So let's see what's inside guys. I can't wait. And I also have a bag full of uh, things I used to take with me to Nerf Wars. Team Red! Nice. Alright guys, so this is my war bag. This is the bag I would take to Nerf Wars. You're going to see me say that pretty soon. But what you're going to find in this bag is mostly ammo, a couple of magazines, stuff like that. These, the 22 dart banana style magazines, these are the best magazines you can have for Nerf Blasters. It was true back then and it's still true today. AccuStrike darts, the best darts that Nerf makes themselves. And another best, the AK style shoulder stock from worker absolutely the best in here surprise you're gonna see more magazines these are the original 18 dart magazines from the nerf rapid strike these are my favorite magazines that nerf actually makes themselves Hat. Right, a tactical hat that doesn't even look like it would fit my fat ass head these days. Oh, my video goggles. And these. Full of dirt. Those are the original video goggles I started my channel with. Derp. <laughs> these were like the early days of mass manufactured short dart magazines. I think they were called Katana Mags. And I think they're fully obsolete now. Here. You see me with a couple of rival magazines and a couple of P mags, but my favorite P mag is coming up shortly. Ooh. With a dart in it? It's just one dart blee. Are you serious? I think you'll be okay. That's another 22 dart AK style banana magazine in clear. It's been painted clear and it's absolutely awesome. Here. The best P mag, the 15 dart P mag from F10555. Another dart. My war bag, baby. Hoorah! Yeah, here's the attachment piece and the short dart katana mag. Ooh, a sling. A one point swing. Right. Look at that. <laughs> Business card. That peel box we don't have anymore though. Ah. The feels. <laughs> Stampede mag. So random. And snapfire? Random. Some 
random ammo. And that's about it for the duffel bag. My Nerf War bag. Poof. Now let's see what's in the tub. The Holy Grail. My baby. For those of you that don't know, this is the Nerf Gear Up Recon. The rarest and most awesome version of the Recon Blaster baby. ever made. Never even sold in the US, by the way. I had to yeah. import this from Australia, and it wasn't cheap. So I'm yeah. glad I still have it in my collection, to say the least. Next up, the Elite Long Shot. It's been lightly modded, uh, air restrictor remover, whoa, air restrictor removal, and a beefy spring and pump grip, of course. Ah, the Nerf Hammer Shot, one of my favorite Nerf pistols. This one features a full Orange Mod Works mod kit, including a six dart cylinder, modified trigger, and hammer. And yeah, it almost spins itself. Ooh, oh my god. I've missed this one. Next up, my absolute favorite sidearm, the Deadpool Kronos. This might have just dethroned the uh, hammer shot. I love them both, honestly, but I've really missed this blaster. This is my uh, battle helmet that I wear at Nerf Wars with a GoPro on the side. Uh, mic mounted on there, goggles for safety, and an extended battery pack on the back, which is better than I thought, apparently. It's still on. Look at this. What the fuck? <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> we're not even going to talk about these patches. Well, one of them. Anyway, look here. This Busby Monorail Shotgun Blaster is so epic. This is one of my favorite creations from Busby. I think it's my favorite Busby Blaster ever. I got this one that I'm holding right here. I got it free at the uh, New York Toy Fair. When I went to the Busby booth at the end of the presentation, they were just giving away blasters. Thanks, Busby. Anyway, here you have my little tactical chest rig thing. My H harness. Another patch. This thing is fully decked out. I got the uh, scabbard on the back for the shotgun. I have a hydration pack. Uh, some mag pouches on the side. And that's just about it, guys. Tactical AF. <laughs> Alright, no comment again, guys. Oh. Uh, let's just talk about these fingerless gloves that I haven't seen in forever. I got my holster on and everything. My dump pouch full of ammo. Man. All right, guys, look at my battle belt. My my uh, Nerf War setup was just too legit. I got a couple mag holders on there. Drop leg holster for my Chronos from 3D Printed Solid. Utility pouch there with the patch, uh, dump pouch. I had everything on here. I miss going to Nerf Wars, guys. Yeah, my fat ass needs to run around and do some cardio. Weight loss by Nerf War. Wow. Alright guys, so here I found my old uh, Strife with the Chris Vector kit. And the foregrip broke off. Took part of the rail with it. I guess it got crushed when I put it in storage, but uh, it's nothing we can't fix. And here's another strife with a partial Chris Vector kit. It looks great just like that, honestly, and I love the way they perfectly match the uh, Nerf Safety Orange. It just looks great. Yeah, let me know what kind of body kits you guys have on your strife. You still use one. Ah, I knew I forgot something. The best stock for the Chris Vector. 
it. These other stocks, um, they don't they don't capture the perfect look like this one does. This is my baby right here. Fully modified. Got the volt. <laughs> Got the volt meter in there. As I pretend like I did that on purpose, so let me explain this blaster. All right, guys, we got a full rewire here. Wired to take lipo batteries now. Replace the flywheels, motors, the cage. Got a custom worker stock with a 3D printed cheek rest on there. I replaced the rev trigger, the magazine release, the firing trigger, everything. Got a custom grip, P mag, sling. I love this thing. Another one of these. This one's probably unmodified. Yeah, definitely not modded. Vintage worth money. The Nerf crossbow. Right, let me notice if there's any interest in this thing anymore. No. Ooh, I remember this. Right, so what this is, is a pre-production model prototype of the Masada ACR mod kit for the Nerf Strife. <laughs> Time to put the Kronos back in the box with the rest of the blasters. Or is it? This is me having a tough time trying to decide whether I want to put it back or take it upstairs with me. Looks like I chose to take it with me. <laughs> yeah, I missed that thing for real. Alright, time to load everything back in here. And uh, next time you know, I'll check out the, uh, the main storage facility. It's off-site. And there's... A ton of blasters in there. This is actually a Nerf blaster in here. Yeah, there's a Nerf blaster. Blaster? There's a Nerf blaster in that box. And uh, judging by the size of the box, I dare you to guess what's in there. Let me know down in the comment section below. And then maybe I'll make a video opening it up and we'll see who was right. Yeah! Anyway, guys, that's all for this video. I'll see ya in the next one. Part 2 of the Nerf Hurt Locker. Goodbye!